welcome back to the studio. Today we're going to be looking at the Drift Collection. Well, I believe all art tells a story. Sometimes the painter, the creator, the artist knows what that story is and actually is trying to communicate that story with their work. Sometimes it's the viewer or the collector who knows the story when they see the work and it speaks to them. So I want to take you through each of these paintings that I've created for this collection and I'll tell you the story that I was seeking to communicate and then I'll tell you what happened when some of these pieces were collected and what the collectors felt when they received them and what stories the paintings told them. This is called Follow Me. And I don't know, can you see that? The, the camera's a little hard to get to focus. Um, but the boat, the ship is all blue, except there's a tiny lantern light. Um, and I, when I painted this one, I, it was all in those soft blue tones. and. Um, as I was creating it, I wanted to give it a sense of like it was heading off into the fog, almost willingly. And then when I added the lantern light, I, I put that there to kind of add some contrast, but to also communicate that um, this painting was speaking of being willing to go into the fog and even having the courage to lead others into that unknown. Um, and that's what the lantern represents on this little boat. This next one is actually a trio, of course, as you can see. Um, these three watercolor paintings of cutters are exquisitely detailed. They are very precise. And when I look at this painting, I don't really think there's some sort of super powerful message or something like some of the other ones. I, I just feel a wonderful sense of calm when I see these. I think boats can do that, water does that. Um, but these are painted with a little bit more of a cheerful palette, blues and greens and whites, and it's framed in a really um, simple, but I think elegant antique oak frame. And yeah, these three little guys, I think they make a very soothing statement. This next pair sold as a set. Um, everything's backwards on these videos. Sorry about that. It's just the way that the camera works. This set um, is framed in very old frames. These frames are cracked. They are nicked. They're beat up. But I feel like they give the paintings 
um, just a real timelessness, a real sense of um, age, and I, I love that. You put them on the wall and they just blend in, in a way, of, you know, you want art to make a statement, I, I think. I want my walls to speak a little bit about who I am and my vibe, right? That's what putting your stuff on your walls is. You either love to look at it or you love the people if you're putting up pictures of your family. And if it's art, like it's like, oh, I want it to give the room a feeling. And so I think these give um, the space that you put them in a sense of age, like one of those cool old libraries, you know, in, in uh, Europe. And um, I think they'd be beautiful in an office, in a bathroom, or part of a gallery wall. Um, again, beautiful details. I, they give a wonderful sense of calm. And the frames, I think, really add to it. And that's, of course, why I selected them. Um, they just give it kind of like a porthole feel, like you're looking through from another boat out to these two. And of course, they're matched color schemes and all that. And yeah, I just, I love this set. I'm almost hoping you guys don't buy it because I want to hang it up in my house. quickly painted it on paper as a test for another painting I was going to do, but it turned out really cool and so I wanted to make it available. There's been a lot of interest, a lot of excitement about this painting, um, so I definitely wanted to get it framed up for uh, a collector if somebody wants to collect it. So this painting is obviously done in a very tonal way, not a lot of color, but I think that gives it that wonderful misty quality. Something I want you to see is how the, the sails are full of wind. So this uh, is misty and mysterious and powerful, but the boat is moving. Like he's, he's going places. And I love that idea of just kind of like bursting out of the fog. So I named this painting Fighting Through Fog. And I think that um, it would be cool if this painting was collected by somebody who feels that, like that they've been fighting through the fog. Um, but you, but look at that wind, like it's, the sails are full, like you're making progress. So, um, that's why I feel like this painting communicates in a, in a real power. splinter be, be advised that cool uh, rough oak frame it's dangerous it's dangerous it's, uh... all right while we're on the theme of courage and going places um, I've got this Arctic Explorers set Isn't, aren't they cute so they're in these beautiful vintage frames with the hanging detail at the top and they're they're deep see that they, they look almost like windows and they're in really pretty good shape um, the paintings themselves are of the Arctic exploration the ships that went to the Arctic to explore I mean, obviously. but um, these ships weren't super big uh, because they had to navigate around icebergs so they would run out of supplies um, and had to do a lot of trading just to make it through the exploration um, in the northern um, half of the world where it was cold and difficult. So I love this set because um, they're very detailed but simple. And I love the, the idea of that um, exploration, that spirit of adventure. Um, but they also just get, again, like the other ones, just give a wonderful sense of calm.
this next one is, I think it's my favorite in the series. You know, I'm not supposed to have favorites. No moms are supposed to have favorites, but you're like, you always kind of do. And so this one is, is uh, called Still Waters. And that is exactly what this is. It's, it's very calm, very soothing picture. There, you can tell some of the sails are being put up. They're coming into uh, port. It's the end of the voyage. Um, it's time to rest, time to um, resupply. And I just love that message with this one. I also love how old the frame is. You can see it's very beat up. There are cracks and chipping paint throughout. The glass is in good shape, but, uh, and the, the brass hanger, which is beautiful, is in good shape. But this is really delicate. <laughs> this is a old frame. It's gotta be over 150 years old by my estimate. I got it at an antique store and I love the way that old frames make whatever's in them seem old. So I love the timelessness that it gives to this one. So I'm kind of hoping that nobody buys this because I will keep this and love this thing forever. <laughs> Alright, this next one is one that I entitled Safe Harbor. And I think you might have seen that online already, but if you haven't, this is um, a painting of a large ship coming in to port, putting up their sails, the voyage is done, they are safe and home, and you can see this little cutter is coming alongside to assist in unloading cargo and um, getting them into port. And uh, when I first painted this painting, I felt like um, the story of this one was that the journey was done, um, that they were, sa they were safely home, um, and it was time to rest. And um, when I communicated that online, um, uh, a collector, uh, soon after that, when, when these were made available to the two collectors, a previous collector bought it, um, and she said that when she saw it, when she heard the story of it, um, it just completely moved her um, because for her, it communicated her story, which was one of um, her parents uh, going home. So she cared for her parents for years and they both went home um, a little, over the last two years. And so her job of caring for them, coming alongside them was done and that they were safely home. And so this painting, when she saw it, communicated her story um, and uh, she collected it. I'm so happy for it to go to her and to um, remind her of a job well done and that, that that voyage, that season has come to an end, a peaceful, peaceful. All right, stand up for this one. We've seen it before. This is the final painting in the Adrift collection. Um, this one is called Triumph, and I think the I told y'all some of what the message of this painting was, um, one of strength and power and a sense of coming, having come through the fire, the water, and you were triumphant. And uh, this painting is sold. The collector um, told me that she knew that when I began this collection that one of these paintings was going to be for her. She didn't know which one, but when she saw this, um, immediately she burst out laughing because uh, the idea of everything being on fire <laughs> was one that she really resonated with. And the idea of coming through that, um, she felt like that was, that was her story, her and her husband's story. So I'm excited for her to have this, for her to see that message um, in her own life reflected and be able to have this painting to celebrate that triumph for them. Thanks for coming into the studio today with me again, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this story time about my new collection. If one of these paintings in um, this series spoke to you, they are available um, at mcampbellart.com. The whole Adrift collection is there to see and to read about if you want to. Some of those paintings have already sold, so if you're interested in one, I would get it now. And um, if it speaks to you, I'd love to hear that story because as an artist, like I said at the beginning, I feel like I'm communicating a story, but when a painting is collected,
collected, the story is really complete. So I'd love to um, be a part of that and hear from you as to what, what they speak to you. Thanks, y'all.